evening, a San Francisco business owner says that he is frustrated and fed up with graffiti all over the restaurant that he's trying to open and with the city, which has now served him with the notice to clean up the graffiti. He says he's being punished instead of the vandals, but that's not all. NBC Bay Area's Ian Cull joins us now in the newsroom with the details. Ian. Yeah, Raj and Jessica, the Public Works points out that most cities require private property owners to clean up graffiti that is on their property. But for those businesses hit by vandals, they say it's nearly impossible to keep up. And I'm going to repaint it. Viet Nguyen says he's constantly painting over graffiti, and all of this happened the day after he put on a fresh coat. Next morning, come back, same thing again, graffiti all over the place. He owns Gao Viet Kitchen in San Mateo and is opening another one in a few months in the inner sunset in San Francisco. But this week, that location was also hit with a violation notice from the city. It says the graffiti needs to be cleaned up in 30 days or he could face a $362 fine. They give you 30, uh, 30 days to, um, to clean it up. But guess what you're going to do? You clean up, next day it's going to happen again. So, so what, do, what do I do, you know? It's just very frustrated. San Francisco Public Works tells me after two years, they've started enforcing graffiti code violations again this week. And someone filed a complaint to 311 about this site. And it's up to the property owners to paint over it. Properties that are hit time and time and time again can do something called applying for a hardship. San Francisco Public Works will use our crews or contractor crews working for us to go and do courtesy abatement for six months. But there might be more help soon. There's a proposal in the city budget to provide $4 million over two years to clean up and paint over graffiti to help people like Nguyen who are getting hit often. It's great news for the city as a whole because it means that the tags will be removed quickly uh, so they don't proliferate. So the worst part about that is when they tag you, or no, when they do graffiti, the glass that you got to clean up, you cannot just hang over, right? Nguyen says he lost track of how much it costs him to cover the tagging. He hopes the city's proposal is passed and that they focus on the vandals more than business owners. But I hope that would help with um, a small business because, I mean, I could be able to clean that up and be, to do a lot of that stuff, but with some other small business who've been struggling to COVID, right? To clean up, to repaint it and, and get repainted again and again. It, it's, it's, uh, it's, not, it's not affordable. Now, if that proposal passes, the graffiti abatement program in the city could go into effect and begin this fall. Businesses would have to file a report to the city when they've been hit. In the newsroom, Ian Cole, NBC, Bay Area News.